Hello, today I want to show you a new version of PDF Parser and that is a support for Jira rules. So in this new version, version 060, we have the option Jira now. And when you use that option, you can provide rules to PDF Parser and it will use those uh, Jira rules to check uh, the streams that it finds in the PDF document. So it will filter the streams and then run the Jira rules uh, on this. And let me illustrate this with uh, JavaScript. So recently somebody asked me if I could add code uh, to a PDF parser to detect JavaScript functions that are often used in uh, malicious PDF documents, for example, like eval or, uh, or an escape. And I told him that uh, I was not going to do that because I had uh, a new version, a new feature to a PDF parser and that is Jira support. And you can easily write your own uh, Jira rules to detect such uh, kind of functions like uh, eval or uh, an escape. So let me show you this. I run PDF parser. Option Jara. And here I have uh, a set of Jara rules in a file. We are going to look at this in detail later. Eh? But uh, this uh, detects uh, suspect functions in JavaScript. And now I give it a PDF document that contains JavaScript, like this. Okay. And then you can see here that it detected object 8. Uh, that a Jara rule triggered on it, and that is uh, the eval function. So this stream here of uh, object 8 contains uh, the eval function for JavaScript. You can have a look with uh, the filter option, like this, minus F to filter the stream, and then you also have the output of the stream, and here you can see at the end uh, the eval function. Now, if you use Jara on, here in this case on a PDF document that doesn't contain JavaScript, like this one here, then you just uh, get no output. So if a rule triggers, you get the name of the rule and you get the object on which it triggered. If it doesn't uh, trigger, you, do, uh, you don't get any output. Okay, so let's take a look now at uh, the Jara rules. So uh, I have two rules here. I want uh, to detect the eval function and uh, the, the unescape function. So this here uh, is done with, uh, with a regular expression. Uh, and that's actually all. You, you could also do it with a string. Let me show you just like this, eval. And then it will trigger when it detects the eval string inside the function. But this can lead uh, to, uh, to false positives. Like, uh, for example, if you have the word evaluation, like this, in your uh, stream, then eval will also trigger on it. So we want to make it a bit less um, prone to false positives. So we want the, the word eval. And uh, after the word eval, there's a left uh, parenthesis, an opening parenthesis. So we are going to specify this too. But you can have uh, sometimes spaces here, white space is allowed. So there can be a space uh, or more than a sp uh, one space. And the best thing uh, to match such kind of string is to use the uh, regular expressions. So in Jara, regular expressions are written like this. Okay, this will just match the string eval. Okay, and I also want to match the opening parenthesis like this. But uh, in regular expression syntax, this has special meaning. So you have to escape it like this. Okay, so that you want to match this character. So and you can have here white space. So let add, let's add white space. This here means uh, a white space character, so that's a space character, but it can also be a tab character uh, or uh, uh, a line feed or a carriage return. Yeah. So, and this means that we want exactly just one, 
one white space character. But as you know, it can be zero or more uh, white space characters. So you do this with uh, this modifier, the asterisk. This way, you uh, encode a regular expression to match eval white space or not, and then the opening parentheses. Okay. Now you can still have uh, false positives if you uh, have in your JavaScript uh, another function that contains that ends with uh, the string. For example, if you have the function deval, yeah, a function uh, uh, deval in there, then this will also match. Okay. So what we are going to do here is say, okay, this here must be a word, a word boundary. And this is the syntax in uh, regular expressions for uh, word boundaries. So it means that um, eval here is at a word boundary, so that uh, that's the start of a word. But unfortunately, Jara does not for, uh, support word boundaries. So we are going to replace that with something else, with uh, w uppercase here, backslash w uppercase, and this stands for any character except alphanumeric characters. Okay, so this way we are also making sure that this is the beginning of a word. The only difference here is that there has to be a character before the eval function. Okay, so if the eval function is really at the beginning, the first uh, string in your stream, then this uh, regular expression will not match. And uh, here is another example with uh, the unescape function. Exactly the same here. The string unescape, white space, open parenthesis here, and we want this uh, to be the start of the word uh, unescape. 